I've reviewed the classic arcade hit Centipede for a wide variety of game consoles like the Atari 2600, the 5200, and the ColecoVision, but none are as exciting as this. It's a real Centipede Arcade machine. From Atari, released in 1980, it's the Centipede Arcade game with the trackball and the amazing artwork on the side. It's one of the best looking arcade games I've ever seen and one of my favorites, which is why it now lives at the classic game room headquarters in space. That and it's a free play machine, so I don't even have to use quarters. That's right, I'll save my quarters for the Rolling Thunder arcade machine which arrived after this one that I did not have converted into a free play machine. And I'll tell you, if you're going to order one of these for a home environment where you're not trying to make money, have whoever's restoring it make it a free play machine because otherwise you just keep opening up the machine with the key and taking out the quarters and putting them back in. And it's like that episode of Itchy and Scratchy where Scratchy just keeps eating himself. I've been planning to buy several arcade games for the classic game room studio, and Centipede is one of my top five arcade machines ever. So I was thrilled to get a good lead on one in great condition that could be restored with a brand new HAP LCD monitor. And I'm not sure how well it's going to show up in this review, but if you're seriously considering buying an arcade machine for your home or office and really love the game and want to see what it looks like, pay the extra money for an LCD monitor. I wasn't sure how it was going to look because originally these machines had old school CRT monitors which are all now 30 years old. And after this machine arrived, uh, my Frenzy and Rolling Thunder arrived, both with the original monitors and they don't look bad, but nothing compared to this. Everyone that's played this game is stunned at how good it looks, including me every time I play it. And of course it goes without saying that if you're going to invest in one of these games that aren't cheap to have someone reputable do the work. Now these are some tough choices. What do you do when you have Centipede sitting next to a frenzy? Well obviously you just make time to play both. If you remember how much fun it was to play games in the arcades and love the old school 80s hits like Pac-Man, Space Invaders, and Robotron, no amount of games downloaded onto your game console or phone will replace a single arcade machine. It's fun for the whole family. And they make great showpieces for a game room or an office or studio for a weird internet review show. When buying one of these things, do your research, find one from a reputable seller with good reviews and preferably references. I picked up this machine from Game Room Guys in Michigan after finding them on eBay with a good rating, real website, and phone number, as well as knowledgeable support. And they did a nice job on this one, and Black Hole. Let's take a look inside the Centipede arcade machine, a gigantic cavern of awesomeness that delivers Centipede. That's right, in an era where you can store 20,000 games on your iPhone, it takes all of this just to play one game. But it's worth it because it's an arcade machine. And you can lean into it and rock the trackball when playing Centipede. I'm an unstoppable centipede removing force! Now I've covered the gameplay in this game numerous times, but obviously you just shoot the centipede, but when you're really trying to score big points, you go for the spiders, the scorpions, and everything else, and try to stay alive as long as possible, earning extra lives and kicking ass on centipede. And then you play Frenzy afterwards. I absolutely love this machine, and every time I go to work now, I play a few games of Centipede, and that's what I like about the old games. They're short and they're fast, especially when you're not that good at them. Because Centipede is a tough game, and you don't need to sit there and spend 30 hours leveling up to enjoy it. You just play for 5-10 minutes and go on and play the next game. And did I mention I love the artwork on the side of this machine? It's one of the best looking arcade games you can get with mushrooms, laser beams, and a giant angry centipede. It's Centipede from Atari, released in 1980, this time with a new HAP LCD monitor, and you'll be seeing a lot of it in the background of this show.